Do you know that Nike is a biblical word? Did you know that? In the Greek, Nike means victory in the Greek, all right? It is translated as victory in 1 John chapter 5 and verse 4. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. I think if I close my message right now, you can go home and say, I got my message. You don't need a one-hour message. That one statement, whatever, let me put it this way, whoever is born of God, that means whoever is born again is not a struggler, is not a wrestler, he is an overcomer. Amen. Oh God. And we are talking about not just overcoming nitty gritties. Are you with me? Not overcoming small things. Um, not overcoming headaches and stomach aches. Listen. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Cosmos. Everything that is in this world you can overcome. Uh oh. You see, sometimes we are told so small-minded that we think our entire world is our house. But I came to correct you. The entire world is a whole cosmos. And God is saying, I have made you an overcomer over everything in this world. Whatever or whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory. There it is. Nike. Everybody say Nike. And this is the Nike that overcomes the world, our faith. Hello? It's not the pastor's prayer. Thank God. It's not the prophet's prophecy. Thank God. It's not the evangelist is laying hands on you. Thank God. It's not even the apostles, you know, touch on you. No. What gives you the victory over the world is... Your faith, not the pastor's faith. Your faith. Everybody say, my faith is the Nike over the world. Which means it's your victory over the world. Let me tell you, go out and tell people, the real Nike man is not your sports star. He's not the one. The real Nike man is Jesus Christ. Because his victory is not temporary. His victory is eternal. He has won once and he has won forever. The great stars, no, no, no doubt about that. They're all great in their sports field. But all of them don't. Live out to be people who have never been beaten. Even the best of them have been beaten. But the real Nike man, the real victorious man is Jesus. You know why? He has never lost. He has never lost. He has never failed even once. And Jesus died so that we can be victorious through him.